Wild West, Don Pedro. Welcome to the Wild West Bass Trail. This time our anglers are on a body of water that hasn't seen tournament action in 20 years. That's the one you want right there. There are monster largemouth bass along its 160 yes. miles of shoreline. I dreamt about big fish and waiting to uh, make my dreams come true. This is there Don Pedro Reservoir. Got it. This is a good one. Welcome to Lake Don Pedro, California's sixth largest reservoir with over 160 miles of shoreline, and it holds largemouth, smallmouth, and spotted bass. On the first day of the Pro-Am on Lake Don Pedro, big bass were brought to the scales, some close to 10 pounds. Local angler Steven Tosh, also known as Bub, weighed in an eight pound bass, which gave him close to a four pound lead over second place Scott Taylor. But one big bite on Lake Don Pedro could put anybody in the lead. Current leader Bub Tosh is fishing a unique Yamamoto bait, trying to adapt to changing weather patterns after several inches of snow fell the night before. And it looks like they're really glued to the bottom. Yesterday they weren't. They were more, way more suspended and roaming around trying to eat. Today they're just kind of stuck. Um, most of my fish yesterday came on a uh, Yamamoto Sancho. I'm about to tie one back on. Uh, just broke that one off. But And that Sancho has a unique fall. It falls unlike any other bait on that dart head or any, any apparatus you put it on. So these fish all see the same thing. These guys go to the same seminars, read the same books, watch the same videos. These fish get wise. They see a lot of stuff. So you have to have stuff new and different, you know. And uh, they eat a lot of sculpin in this lake. A lot of people don't know that. There's a lot of sculpin, a lot of, you know, big sculpin. And that's what that sand show is. So I had it on a jig and I had it on a dart head and it seemed to work better on the dart head. I caught those three so far on it. Scott is fishing around log piles deep into the Tuolumne River arm. I'm throwing a one ounce jig on uh, Dobbins uh, 765 flip with a 15 pound test uh, P-line. Um, this flipping stick's been able to let me uh, get some good solid hook, hook, hook sets down there in 40 feet where these fish are. Uh, my game plan is to stick it out. I'm going to give it a chance and hopefully get a, get a limit in here and then, then go to my, my other spot this afternoon. If I don't get a limit, I'm going to stay in here the whole time. There we go. Yes. Get the net, bud. Scott struggles to find his first bite of the morning, while Cody Murray is throwing a Texas rig around Little Oak Island that allows him and his co-angler, Jim Biker, to catch four bass in a short period of time. Well, it's been different than yesterday. The fish have been about a quarter of the size of the ones that we caught yesterday, but uh, just gonna probably sit here and try and wait some of these big fish out, see if we can catch them again throughout the duration of the day. After a second place finish on Lake Shasta, Oregon angler Jeremy McKay is looking for redemption on Don Pedro. That'll keep. Not a giant, but one more in the box. Hopefully we go back here and catch that big kicker I've been looking for all week. So that'd be an excellent way to get things rolling. Jeff Michaels is fishing shallow with Yamamoto Senkos in the upper bay of Don Pedro. It's been slow, but fairly productive. I mean, we don't, I don't have a, a great limit, but I think I might have enough to make it to tomorrow. Just as luck would have it, my co threw into one cut yesterday and uh, we figured out that they'd moved off of these points, off the shallow points, and they'd moved back into the cuts. Today they're not really in the cuts and they're not really on the points, so I'm not sure where they went today. Is that him, bro? I hope it's him. It doesn't feel like him. One, one more decent fish would be, would be really, really nice at this point. 
The action is just getting started on Lake Don Pedro. The Wild West Bass Trail will be right back. Want to achieve the highest performance out of your outboard engine? Introducing the newest product from the makers at Lucas Oil, Marine Fuel Treatment and Injector Cleaner. Lucas Marine Fuel Treatment stabilizes fuel and eliminates corrosion. It cleans and lubricates the complete fuel system. Perfect for marine outboard applications. Eliminates the need for higher octane fuels and will not void your warranty. Protect your investment with Lucas Marine Products. Lucas Oil, it works. Evan Rude Pro, Bryant Smith here. I want to talk about two key features of the G2 that helped me as a tournament angler immensely. The first, low end torque. I like to bounce around from spot to spot. I get up on pad quicker with this motor. I take less time, that means more fishing time. The second, power steering. It's so much fun to drive. Trimmed out, doesn't matter. There's no resistance, it's awesome. If you haven't tried one, take one out for a test drive. I know you'll be impressed. Hey guys, Vince Hurtado here with Trapper Tackle. This spring in 2018, look for it, our short shank EWG treble hook. We have a little bit wider box in diameter. We have a few extra degrees facing inward. Application wise, it's gonna allow you to put a bigger hook on your bait and for those fish that like to slap at it like this time of the year in spring, this is the choice of hook to use. Look at that. Look for it at your favorite tackle shop or your online dealer. Hey everyone, Super Clean Pro Alex Klein here. First thing I do when I get off the water, grab a bottle of Super Clean. Take a couple sprays, spray it on your boat, grab a rag, quick wipe down. Works super fast and super easy. Keeps your boat looking sharp on and off the water. I highly recommend a bottle of Super Clean today. The Wild West Bass Trail is brought to you by Lucas Oil Marine Products. Made in America, sold to the world. Ranger Boats. Driven to dominate. Dobbins Rods, fish to win. Gary Yamamoto Custom Baits, because what you fish matters. Trapper Tackle, every good fish story begins on a hook. And by P Line, official fishing line of the Wild West Bass Trail. Uh, well, certainly inside the resort, we've got all the casino facilities, slot machines with the latest, uh, latest games. Uh, we have a table game pit with 26 uh, live table games uh, and something for the whole family. What's unique about uh, the casino resort here uh, is the facilities we've got on, on three floors. On our top floor we have Seven Sisters which is our fine dining restaurant and the unique thing about the uh, resort inside here is the uh, family floor uh, which has a 24 lane Brunswick bowling center children's arcade, a restaurant where we can get fast food. So uh, I'd like to extend uh, an open invitation for everyone to, to come back and see us here at Black Oak Casino Resort and uh, experience the beauty of Tuolumne County. Just log on to blackoakcasino.com and you can learn about all the resort facilities as well as the amenities within the county. The change in weather has slowed the bite down, but our anglers are still catching them. Let's get right back into the action with current leader, Bub Tosh. I think that's him. No. But it's a keeper. Thank you, sir. Sancho, Yamamoto, deadly. So if I can just get some of them to start biting when I drop to them, uh, they're, they're running. They're, it's so clear, this weather. I mean, you can see my graph right now as I'm talking to you right now. If your graph looks like that, you're on the glory. When you have fish like that on your graph that you keep dropping to, it's just a matter of hitting the bottom enough times before one of them runs over there and grabs it. So you keep changing baits, keep showing them stuff different, keep being an angler, and hopefully you get one of those fish to bite. Eighth place angler Jeremy McKay is still looking for a limit of bass to have a chance of fishing on Championship Sunday. It's kind of funny, you know, growing up as a kid, I was a teenager, fished every single day all through high school, and you know, you dream of fishing competitively and at the pro level someday, but at the same time, it kind of feels like a fantasy, you know, like would it really ever happen, and for it to actually be coming true is pretty awesome.
There's five. We're just too deep. We're just fishing too deep, man. Yesterday they're in 50 feet. Gets my head all spun around. Today they're in 15. That's what we fish for right there. No better feeling than when it pops all the way down to the palm of your hand. It's time for our anglers to bring in their bass to the scales and see who is moving on to Fish Championship Sunday. Cody Murray jumps one spot to move into second place with the help of a five and a half pound kicker. Bub Tosh finishes the day with a three and a half pound lead over Cody Murray. Now that might seem like a lot to catch up, but we've already seen six and seven pound bass come across the scales this week. It just takes one big bite on Don Pedro for someone to take home the trophy. I'm just trying to be as focused as possible and, and control all the variables I can control and whatever happens, happens. This lake's got a lot of big fish in it, so I think a 20, 25 pound bag is not out of the question here. And I feel like I need that today, or 18 plus pounds today to have a shot at this thing. And Yeah, you know, it's a real slow bite right now. You have to really slow down. When you think you're going slow, go a little slower. Third place Ryan Friend starts his morning in the top 10 by working along the Woods Creek arm of Lake Don Pedro. Basically just working a, uh, a bank here, you know, leading into spawning bays on this side. There's kind of a spawning cut on the other side. And kind of what I've found is, you know, these fish pull up into these spots later in the day and the, these largemouth kind of get up here and they just like to kind of sit in these bushes. There has been some good fish down here on this steeper rock. I think it's the same fish that are eventually moving down this bank. Well, keeper number one, but it's kind of slow going. I know there's some big fish in this area though. I'm just gonna stick it out and see, see if we can get one to bite get five to bite. As Ryan Friend and co-angler Chris Sisko's morning bite picks up, current leader Bub Tosh starts his morning throwing a Yamamoto Sancho. And yesterday around 10 and around 1, 1 I caught a, yeah, I didn't have anything good but I caught several fish so I expect this day will be a lot like that. I haven't started my big motor in two days so I don't know what the rest of the lake's like, you know. I haven't even left my spot so I just sat on my point the whole tournament. Championship Sunday on Lake Don Pedro has just begun. Don't go anywhere. More of the Wild West Bass Trail is coming up. For over 30 years, Lucas Oil has provided the very best products for the land and sea. From this success stems another amazing product from the Lucas Marine lineup, Lucas Slick Mist Marine Speed Wax. Just spray it on and wipe it off. Lucas Marine Speed Wax will make your boat look brand new and provide great UV protection. Apply Lucas Marine Slick Mist to wet and dry surfaces in sunlight or shade. It's ideal in both fresh and salt water application and prevents hard water deposits. Protect your investment with Lucas Marine products. Lucas Oil, it works. Hey everyone, Super Clean Pro Alex Klein here. First thing I do when I get off the water, grab a bottle of Super Clean. Take a couple sprays, spray it on your boat, grab a rag, quick wipe down. Works super fast and super easy. Keeps your boat looking sharp on and off the water. I highly recommend a bottle of Super Clean today. Evan Root Pro, Brian Smith here. I want to talk about two key features of the G2 that helped me as a tournament angler immensely. The first, low end torque. I like to bounce around from spot to spot. I get up on pad quicker with this motor. I take less time, that means more fishing time. The second, power steering. It's so much fun to drive. Trimmed out, doesn't matter. There's no resistance, it's awesome. If you haven't tried one, take one out for a test drive. I know you'll be impressed. Hey guys, Vince Hurtado here with Trapper Tackle. This spring in 2018, look for it, our short shank EWG treble hook. We have a little bit wider box in diameter. We have a few extra degrees facing inward. Application wise, it's gonna allow you to put a bigger hook on your bait and for those fish that like to slap at it like this time of the year in spring, this is the choice of hook to use. Look at that. Look for it at your favorite tackle shop or your online dealer. 
Welcome back to the Wild West Bass Trail. Our top 10 anglers blasted off early on Lake Don Pedro, and we're now in the middle of championship round. Steven Tosh has a four pound lead over second place Cody Murray. Let's head back to the water and see how everyone's fishing. I did. Holy crap. He freaking smoked it. I don't know how big he is, but. <laughs> Thanks, Tony. You got I don't even know if he'll go, but he crushed it. That's keeper number two. If we take this to weigh in, I'll probably be crying. <laughs> Current leader Bub Tosh continues his assault on Don Pedro with his Yamamoto Sancho. Oh yeah. Large mouth. Little bitty large mouth. Thanks, sir. He's a keeper. Even though he's small, you know, largemouth school together, definitely. Spots school together, so. There is big schools of spots, don't get me wrong, and there is a bunch of big spots in the lake, but they usually, you know, they usually just don't get caught together. Yeah, it's not, no. Thank you. Not much better, but that's okay. Number four. Eighth place angler Jay Guterding is fishing with a Ned rig along the south end of Lake Don Pedro. That's a good one. Uh, just to try to get a few bites this morning, we did get a good limit. I mean, a decent limit this morning, but the size just wasn't there. We're hoping the bigger ones will come up and with this warming, afternoon the uh the fish even a half a degree in water temperature they'll move up because they want to be warmer at least the spots will dobbins rods pro angler jim novotny is currently in fifth place but just shaking the senko around and those fish seem to be uh be active when they when they bite it, there's not much to it you just make sure you cover a lot of water i like to call it fishing slow fast and uh, literally just making a circle, going in a big circle around these steep blanks, uh, all the way around the steep walls, trying to catch these fish when they move up. On spotted bass lakes, when you get bit like that and the fish lets go or where he comes off, open your bail and let that thing fall right back down. It seems like five out of 10 times, that fish or another one will come back and eat it, just like that. No, don't worry about it. Ooh. I appreciate his effort, um, but he's not gonna help us. Late in the afternoon, General Tire Pro Angler Jeff Michaels is fishing across from the Blue Hooks launch ramp. It was a horrible start today this, this morning and it stayed horrible the rest of the day. There's one right there. Yeah, that wasn't real smart. Busted my line right when he came over the gunnel. Got an hour and a half. All I need to do is get, I need a, a 12 and an eight and I'll be right there. We'll start with the 12 first. We wrap up championship Sunday and crown a winner on Lake Don Pedro right after this. Hey guys, Vince Hurtado here with Super Clean. As an avid angler, I'm on the water all the time and we are all faced with our favorite fish scent that gets onto our carpet, stains it. What I like to do, Make it super easy on yourself. Take some super clean. Just a few shots and let it sit for just about five to 10 seconds just to let it get in the carpet. Take a damp uh, cloth microfiber and just start scrubbing it out. And you'll see within seconds that stain is gone. Super easy, super fast, 
super clean. Look for it at your favorite retailer or online store. Want to achieve the highest performance out of your outboard engine? Introducing the newest product from the makers at Lucas Oil, Marine Fuel Treatment and Injector Cleaner. Lucas Marine Fuel Treatment stabilizes fuel and eliminates corrosion. It cleans and lubricates the complete fuel system. Perfect for marine outboard applications. Eliminates the need for higher octane fuels and will not void your warranty. Protect your investment with Lucas Marine Products. Lucas Oil, it works. Evan Rude Pro, Brian Smith here. I want to talk about two key features of the G2 that helped me as a tournament angler immensely. The first, low end torque. I like to bounce around from spot to spot. I get up on pad quicker with this motor. I take less time, that means more fishing time. The second, power steering. It's so much fun to drive. Trimmed out, doesn't matter. There's no resistance, it's awesome. If you haven't tried one, take one out for a test drive. I know you'll be impressed. The Wild West Bass Trail is brought to you by Evinrude, official engine of the Wild West Bass Trail. Super clean, super fast, super easy, super clean. General Tire, anywhere is possible. Protect the harvest, keeping our traditions alive for future generations. Lowrance, for anglers who want it all. And by Powerpole official shallow water anchor of the Wild West Bass Trail. Bub Tosh has caught many bass on his Yamamoto Sancho, but he is switching baits around, this time to a simple Ned rig. Lordy. Couple little keepers today. First fish of my life on that thing. On the Ned. On the Ned. Keeper number four. I don't know what else to do. I had to make sure that I got five fish. So that was the whole goal was to come here to a spot that's for sure and get five for sure keepers. Now that I got that, if nothing shows up here in the next 10 or 15 minutes on my graph, I'm gonna go run around to all the places that I caught a fish over four pounds in my life and see what happens. Ryan Friend is still looking for those large kicker fish that Don Pedro is known for. You know, a lake this size, you can't break it all down in even two days of practice. You gotta break it down and see where you wanna fish, where you wanna spend your time. And then you kinda learn the, you know, you learn the sweet spots within the spots. And that's, that's the key thing, even after fishing here yesterday. Right now, I'm optimistically hoping there's some fish up. These fish, they come up so fast sometimes that they can basically kill themselves so you you just want to take it easy on them especially if it's not the big ones you know there's no rush to get them in just bring them up as slow as you can try to take care of the fish first and foremost and that is a small don pedro largemouth the only thing good about these fish is if you catch a five pounder it's a really big upgrade Number five, I kind of wanted to fish this side specifically over here because that looks so good. I know a lot of guys that fish it. And um, I caught a couple decent fish over here in practice. But yeah, I, I think that they're still here. And maybe this is our best shot at getting some to bite and fill out a limit. I don't know as far as size goes, but I definitely think that we're on more biting fish than we've been on in a while. General Tire Pro Jeff Michaels hasn't found the large bass he's looking for. Yet small upgrades do make a difference. That was a little, little TV screen fishing right there. Well, that's a large mouth. Again, unfortunately, I think that one might help. There's no big ones in there. Where'd you go, fishes? We're gonna have to leave my favorite spot on the lake. I just don't have long enough to wait. The population of bass is just not here today. 
can only catch what's down there, you know. There's just not a lot of them down there. It's time to hit the scales. After three days of fishing, the top 10 anglers will bring in their bass to crown a champion. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Lake Don Pedro Wild West Bass Trail Pro-Am here. Absolutely gorgeous venue here at Fleming Meadows Resort. Current leader Bub Tosh will sit in the Black Oak Casino hot seat as ninth place Wayne Brazil is up first with his limit of bass to the scales. Wayne's 10.64 is enough to take the lead. Phil Garcia and Jay Guterding were just short of taking the lead from Wayne Brazil. The leaderboard continues to shift as each angler comes up to weigh their bass. Jay Williams takes the hot seat after Timmy Wells finishes the tournament with just over 40 pounds. Cody Murray is up next to the scales. He needs 10.77 to take the lead. Hot seat, what do you think? It's going to probably be close, but I'm not sure. I think you got it, 1087. The lead changes again as Cody takes the hot seat with one angler to go. Last up to the scales is Bub Tosh, who has been leading the entire tournament. He only needs seven pounds to win the Don Pedro Championship. He's been catching them here for a long time, so just, just to compete with them out here is great. Well, right now we're going to have Mr. Tosh set those fish in there. We're going to find he needs 780. Mr. Bub Tosh, your champion here. Thank you very much, Cody, for coming out and fishing oh, with us. Job, you didn't throw up on me. <laughs> Your pro amp champion, Mr. Bub Tosh. Congratulations, wow. sir. I feel literally in disbelief, almost. Every time you win, it's surreal, and, and you, you try so hard to win, and it usually does not happen. But I have wanted to win a pro am on this lake for over 20 years. This is my lake. And this week I have used uh, a Yamamoto Sancho and I have drugged this thing and dropped it on so many big ones and they bite it. Spots, black, small mouth, mean mouth, it does not matter. This bait is incredible. This is what I won the tournament on. It was incredible to use a bait that I designed for Yamamoto every day, know what I was doing, go to my spot and catch what I could catch. Join us next time on the Wild West Bass Trail as we head to the deserts of Arizona for Lake Havasu.